I argue that for political science and in particular comparative politics and political economy, for a very long time now, uh, political scientists have primarily looked at interests, history or historical trajectories and institutions, uh, or they've looked at culture. And what I've done is argue they also need to look at the importance of ideas and discourse. So I'm not saying that you have to give up these three other approaches in political science. They're called rational choice institutionalism, historical institutionalism, and sociological institutionalism. Rather, I say, use these as background information to also look at the importance of ideas and discourse. And so within this context, I actually apply this to the Eurozone. I actually also look at issues of democracy. So in terms of my research on the Eurozone crisis, some of it's policy oriented. Certainly, I need to know what's happening. But it's also theoretical because I actually try to analyze, for example, leaders' discourse or changes in public opinion in terms of what kinds of ideas are involved. What are the interactions, the discursive interactions? Where do you see persuasion? Where do you not see persuasion? And what's interesting about the Eurozone crisis is what you're seeing is a crisis of leadership um, and also a crisis of democracy.